the time roofs and floors are a very familiar time to you so you know what is a roof what is a floor today we will discuss uh, in detail the roof as a structure how it is uh, comprised of what are the functions performed by the roof and same on the floors we will get into the presentation by definition a roof is the top topmost covering that means if it is two story uh, it is above the two story if it is five story it is the topmost layer okay so it is the topmost covering of a building and it includes all materials and constructions necessary to support it on the walls of the building or on the upright that means you can see a figure here here this is the roof so this roof is comprised of two parts one is a roof covering and one is a roof supporting structure that means a framework will be there below this covering to take the loads of the roof covering okay so that's what there are two parts of a roof one is a supporting structure it's a skeleton and then the outer skin the supporting structure of a roof usually comprises of beams truss and they are long and strong and fairly rigid material uh, such as timber also used as a supporting ele element and so okay so these are the materials used for making the supporting structure In the outer layer it is uh, it shows a greater variation it can be any any material it can be like uh, gi sheets aluminum sheets uh, then shingles uh, so it has got a wide variety of choices and the main important function of a roof is that it provides protection against the rain snow sunlight and the extremes of temperature and wind so this is all about the introduction of the roof the elements in the design of a roof are so we have to focus on the material which we will be using for the construction of roof the construction methodology and the durability so these factors determine the design of a roof and there are some factors which uh is it important for finalizing the shape of roofs include the climate that means where the building is located is it in a cold region or the hot region and the local availability of the materials and also on the outer covering so in general the roof must be very strong and stable to take up the load safely it may have openings or windows within them to allow the light into the building for providing as is ventilation and so on the characteristics of a roof are dependent upon the purpose of the building that it covers so we have to select the roof type depending on the building it's like a shed or it's like auditorium or say building school building or very high important buildings and also on the architectural design and practices which are governed by the local and national legislation so we now we know what are the components of the roof uh, a supporting structure and the covering structure what are the various uh, materials used for support and the covering elements and why what is the uh, purpose of using a roof and also the factors that uh, we are considering while designing the roof type and the shape of the roof okay now we will get into the flooring so in every building there will be one roof and there will be numerous floors It depends on the uh, number of stories okay but only one roof will be there at the top most when all other intermediate uh, elements are the floors so the floor is that part of the building on which the occupants move and the materials are stored so that's the place where the occupants are living it is the horizontal compound of the structure which divides the building into the different level for the purpose of creating more accommodation 
within a restricted space one above the other or provide support for the building okay so for a uh, two story building there will be a ground floor and first floor then a roof will be there so yeah for like uh, suppose it's a uh, two story building yeah i'm just making uh, this is the first story this is second story so you'll be having a ground floor this will be ground floor here first floor here and this will be the roof suppose it's a three story building then this also will be a roof so one two three will be the floor and this will be the roof okay so the basement the lowermost floor is called as the uh, basement floor or ground floor and this is the first floor and it counts on similar to the classification or division of the roofs we have a subfloor and the floor covering that means there is a skeleton for the floor on which the floor covering is applied so the subfloor is one of the most important floor components it is defined as a layer that provides proper support to the flooring it provides strength and just a minute yeah okay uh, so so it provides uh, strength and stability to make it support the flooring the ground floor level is first watered and rammed rammed well it's on based on the construction so uh, this is a cement concrete bed of 10 to 15 cm thick is laid and rammed so this is based on the uh, making uh, a support with the cement concrete and similarly we have uh, the different types of floor covering available the floor covering is a covering provided over the subfloor the floor covering or flooring provides a smooth clean impervious durable uh, colorful hard and attractive surface so uh, finishing it depends on the uh, choice it is a cover which has to offer resistance to the wear and tear due to the human movement and the movement of furniture so this subfloor provides a strength to the floor and this provides some aesthetic appearance as well as the durability to the floor in general the floor covering is a finishing material applied over the floor or subfloor to provide a walking surface and also should should not should provide uh, required friction otherwise it will be uh, otherwise there is chance of uh, falling on the board Okay, uh, a, still uh, there are some more uh, additional topics on the roof styles. So this uh, we discussed uh, based uh, the selection criteria include the climate, uh, region type of buildings and all. In this one, the different roof styles include a flat roof, which is very common for a single story building. We will go for a flat type of roof. So the topmost portion is a flat portion and there will be a, a parapet for safety uh, so let's about the flat roof the roof simply lies flat across the top of the building's wall and generally the most difficult to build this is about the flat roof and next we have the shed roof so the shed roof is having a tilt and it is generally easier to support than the flat roof so uh, when you compare the flat roof as well as the when you compare the flat roof as well as the uh, shed roof the flat roof the problem will come when it's rain so the and the rain and snow will be accumulated on the flat roof in the case of shed roof it is easily uh, the, the, the the provision with this inclination it will easily go off so that's about the shed roof uh, and this is very uh, useful in places where there is a uh, 
very uh, rainy climates are there next one is the gamble or double pitched you can see uh, like a two way inclination is provided and this is also uh, an ancient type of home the main function of this roof is to provide excellent insulation against the heat and cold because of this raised roof having more volume inside the home will give you a good thermal comfort then we have the hipped roof so the there is in this one uh, that means in gable or double pitch you have two inclination one sided other sided in the case of hipped roof you will be having inclination in four sides one two three and four all all four directions so the major function of hipped roof is uh, they provide more protection against the wind on the ends of the building than the gable roofs but compared to the previous one this will provide more resistance to the wind okay that's about the different types of roofs and the selection depends on the designer uh, considering the various uh, geographical and the other factors uh, next is about the types of floors so we already discussed this one that means we have the ground floor and upper floors so the upper number of upper floors uh, depends on the height of the or the number of stories in the building so the ground floor it rests directly on the ground because of this it doesn't require any subfloor because as the uh, floor is directly resting on the sand the sand will offer a uh, supporting force so you don't require any supporting element for the ground floor normal construction of ground floor is by filling up the basement and then uh, some inert material like sand or stones are put into that and then we are placing in the ground floor so normally the following materials are used for the construction like a brick stones timber and concrete based on the availability then upper floor they are classified on the basis of arrangements of beams and girders because you don't have any uh, ground support so you have to make some other uh, structural element to support your upper floors so there are mainly two types of uh, types of uh, supports one is the timber floor and jackass floor in the timber floor the timber floors are made by timber joints and wooden planks so the arrangement of timber uh, structures will give you the uh, necessary support and in the case of jacquard floor these floors are formed through constructing of brick and concrete arches so we have seen some places that means there will be arches uh, yeah like uh, some arches will be provided and above that you will be uh, placing your uh, floor so that's about that uh, and the end joists are spaced 1 to 1.5 meter center to center and are supported at their ends on the walls or on longitudinal girders the different flooring materials it includes so the flooring material it is a choice and it's forever growing and a wide range of available uh, materials are there normally we will go for the marble uh, which is uh, expensive but aesthetically pleasing uh, tiles uh, high quality tiles are there uh, mosaic and granite so these are very commonly used and the only problem is the higher cost but they offer good durability and good aesthetic appearance so we will uh, see in detail some other types of floor materials or the unique types one is the bamboo the bamboo flooring is made from the fast growing bamboo grass so uh, necessary or uh, properly organized bamboo will provide you a, a flooring material it's like a wooden material then the good thing is that the bamboo is durable and dense and its wear and tear 
is uh, less. Next, we have the carpet and carpet tiles. The carpeting it offers a uh, warmth and softness underfoot and is it's often cheaper than another sorry than other flooring options and also we have uh, a good sound absorbing characteristics exhibited by the carpets and the carpet tiles are also available now and they can be installed in minutes and one damaged tile can be easily replaced so it's about the carpet tiles and the bamboo the wooden material as the flooring material then uh, very rarely used uh, materials include cork and hardwood the cork is a renewable sustainable resource and it is known for its shock absorbing comfort so these are mainly used in theaters and all where the sound dampening is very very important and the hardwood flooring is durable and made of solid and the wood choices include maple so it's like the use of hardwood which is very durable and very aesthetic pleasing then engineered wood are like they are the uh, wood which are made by uh, made naturally or by using uh, some synthetic materials the engineered wood has 3 to 7 layers they are properly arranged and they are laminated and glued together and this will be having a good uh, properties because it is engineered one compared to the naturally occurring uh, wood so it is more resistant to moisture engineered flooring uh, can be used in every room and then one other one is laminate similar to the engineered wood the laminate flooring is created by fusing several layers of materials together the core is made by high density fiber board so this is the main uh, element high density fiber board and then you have other elements uh, which are added to the uh, material to form a laminate uh, flooring so this will be a uh, highly scratch resistant fade resistant these properties will be uh, benefited to that okay uh, then uh, linoleum is there i can skip this one uh, rubber flooring is also available uh, so that uh, it will be offering a very high um, acoustic properties that means the sound will get de uh, decreased uh, thank you.